Hey guys, what's up? Elle here with DSM Chicks. So, I want to go over the door popper kit because I'm having a lot of trouble with it. And I created my group so we could all help each other. So maybe somebody could help me. So, here's what's up. Here's what we decided to do. So, the rod that was attached to this handle I have omitted. If you can see, maybe you can see where that the hole in there where the rod was is where this cable is attached see and then the solenoid we started to mount here so i got extra holes for no reason but we ended up mounting here now in order and i hope this thing will stay clear it keeps fogging it keeps getting blurry okay in order to mount it here you have to omit the vent in your door panel because if you try to mount it here, or you try to mount it here, or if you try to put it inside the door, you're screwed. It's going to hit that window no matter what you do. So you have to put it somewhere where the door panel will fit over it, but you also won't put bolts through your window. Okay, so honest guys, if you're going to do a 2G Eclipse, perfect spot right there. If you're willing to get rid of your inside door vents, which my car is a show car, so I don't care. Also... If you can find another way to mount the solenoid cable to a different rod or a different way to do it, good luck. I've been trying for several weeks. Finally decided I am omitting the inside door handle. It's gone. I can't put the rod with this cable. Um, I'll see if I can get it. Bear with me, guys. It's really late at night. This ain't going to be the best video. Oh, Well, I've got my little cap over the door so I need to remove that real quick. And I'm going to show you guys the parts of this door kit in a minute. Okay, now does that make more sense? So you got this rod. The only way you could use your outside rod to mount that was if you had room down in here, which you do not. If you roll this window down, guys, it's going to hit no matter, you got blurry again, it's going to hit down here no matter where you mount it inside the door. So keep it on the outside rod, or the inside rod is my opinion. So if you see where we hook the cable, hook it through right there. Take your, pop your, I don't have it, I don't know where it's at. But pop your little green plastic piece that's holding the end of your rod, okay? And then pop it off your inside door handle and screw that bracket. And then you can pop it off easier. Um, it just has a little round plastic thing that the rod slips through and then it snaps on the bottom. You pop that out and then just use that hole, which is perfect for your cable. Okay, so I showed you guys that. And this, um, just like this, which is your door lock, you don't want to admit your door lock. Um, Amber was trying to get me to do it. I was like, no, honey, I kind of need my door lock. I'm gonna do a, a really good alarm system on here later, so. Um, but you can omit this one. I don't need it. I'll use a door popper every time I want in or out of the car. No big deal. No one rides in this anyway. So if that makes sense and if that helps someone setting up the solenoid, great. So someone help me with the wiring right now just to see if it would pop. And I'm not going to do that tonight, I don't think. I mean, I guess I could. Um, I've got a wire grounded. And what we were doing was taking the extra battery from the GST, like I did in one of my videos earlier, and putting it on the ground, and then just tapping this uh, red wire, which we put on the on this end of the solenoid, tapping it on there, and then it was popping the door open. Um, the other thing, and i got to be a little quicker, it's going to cut me off like it always does, is get rid of your stock door popper, which is not powerful or uh, long enough to pop it and drill your hole a little bit bigger and just put your door popper right there where your stock one was and that works really good real quick the parts of this if someone can help me I cannot figure out the wiring to this guys because with two thick wires here I'm assuming are my ground wires from my solenoid there's your solenoid that's the one from my driver's side two relays a bunch of colored wires um, two wiring harnesses which will plug into this, which is my control box. Um, the little one plugs in there and the bigger one plugs in there. And two remotes. Now these remotes are a lot different than anyone else is showing on YouTube. I got four, five channels. And then my LED lights up there. 
So if anyone has any idea how to set up this kit, please contact me and I appreciate your help. I will figure it out. So continue watching, like and subscribe DSM Chicks guys. And as always, Black Widow is built and not bought by two DSM Chicks. Peace out guys.